Hey guys, I'm Lauren Whittington. Thanks for watching and tuning into my channel. Today, we're gonna talk about, as you can probably tell, nutrition. So this is such a big topic. We know so many of us wanna get healthy. We wanna step into our healthiest lives. And people ask me all the time. They'll say, Lauren, you know, you're an online health and wellness coach. You've got two jobs, you're a wife, you've got two children, you know, how do you do it? How do you stay healthy and make healthy choices with all of that stuff going on? Um, and I am going to let you guys in on this secret today. Now, most of it is gonna come down to the fact that I don't cut things out of my diet because that's what you do on a diet and I don't want to live on a diet. I wanna just have a really healthy way of eating. And what I focus on is not cutting things out like fat, <clears throat> calories, that kind of thing, healthy sugars. I focus on getting things in. I focus on getting in nutrient dense, food, dense foods like veggies, fruits, things that have lots of antioxidants um, that are gonna fight free radicals in the body, help generate really healthy cell growth and, and not abnormal cell growth. I want things that are gonna make my bodily systems work the way they should and assimilate food instead of storing it in my body as fat. And so that's what we're gonna focus on in this video. So if you wanna learn how to be super busy and have lots going on, but meal prep to get the most nutrients you can out of the week for you and your family, keep watching. All right, you guys, so let's start talking about the prep you need to do before the prep. And I know it might sound like a lot, but I'm just giving you these simple, easy steps so that you can kind of keep this in mind throughout the week before you go on your Sunday grocery haul or whatever that looks like for you. So I know that, and for those of you guys that don't know, I always meal prep with a system that I use with these little containers. So each container basically is a food group. So a green is a veggie, a red is a protein, a yellow is a carb, a blue is a healthy fat, an orange is nuts and dressings, and a purple is fruit. So this is just the way that I meal prep and this is the way that I live a healthy lifestyle without cutting out any portions. That's really important for your metabolism, it's really important for your body in general, your digestive system, all that stuff without, without cutting out any food group. Um, you're giving your body all the nutrients that it needs. Your body needs carbs, your body needs fruit, your body needs these certain antioxidants, leafy greens, um, vitamins and minerals. And it's getting harder and harder to get those from our food anyway because our food is so mass produced. Um, and so it's really important that first and foremost, you go to the grocery store and you look for things that are organic, um, you know, eggs, you wanna look for something that's pasture raised. And a lot of people say it's so expensive. But if you plan out how you're gonna use each ingredient, it really doesn't become expensive. So for me, here's my essential, my, how I prep my essentials. So I know that every day <clears throat> I'm gonna eat three of these purple containers worth of fruit, which is a cup of fruit. So if I know that, I kind of map out, okay, how many fruits am I gonna have per day, per week, whatever, and what am I gonna eat? And what does my family like to eat? So for us, and I know we look like monkeys probably, but this is not even as many bananas as we would usually buy. Um, but since my husband's out of town this week, I toned it down for just me, my daughter, and my son. Um, but we buy a lot of bananas. We eat a lot of oranges um, and we eat a lot of berries. So for instance, you can see the berries right here. They're already cut and washed. And I put them back into their original container because I like that it has the air holes here so they don't get wet and soggy. Um, and I do put a paper towel, as you can see on this one too, underneath them. But what I do um, is I get a huge bowl. If you guys used to watch Rachel Ray back in the day, or if you still do, she would refer to this as like her garbage bowl. As she's cooking, she throws things in here. And I do use this sometimes as a garbage bowl. But I basically dumped all my berries in there. And I do this with things like my fresh broccoli, um, my fresh produce too. I'll do it probably with my spinach. I dump it all in here. I add a few drops of lemon essential oil to just kind of, you know, take all the yuck off the front. I run it under the water. I soak them in this bowl for about probably 10, 15 minutes. Then I dump everything into the strainer, um, strain it out and rinse it again, just so that, you know, pesticides, whatever might be on your fruit is clean. The lemon oil kind of just like gets all that gunk off and makes it easy to go. So I go ahead and do that. Once I get home with all my groceries, I cut everything up in the way that they should be. Once I clean these, I'm gonna cut these up. 
um, and I put them into containers. So for me, and I found this as a busy person on the go, I found this to work best for me. I like to prep in bulk. So I'm gonna go over <clears throat> how to get started um, in working from a grocery list and a recipe list, but for these essentials like fruit, veggies that I know I'm gonna add to a lot of things or I know I'm gonna eat as snacks by themselves or maybe with a hummus dip or with a healthy fat dip throughout the week, I wanna have those prepped in bulk because I may not want raspberries one day. Maybe I wanna grab some frozen cherries. Maybe I wanna grab a banana. Maybe I wanna make the chunky monkey ice cream I'm gonna talk about in here um, and use frozen bananas and chop them up. So you wanna make sure that you prep your essentials ahead of time, whatever that looks like for you. And so for me, I would say, I always say it's you pick three. So you pick three vegetables that you love and you pick three fruits that you love and you can eat raw or steamed with just minimal you know, seasonings and that kind of thing. And that's what you prep in bulk. So for me, that usually looks like, and I have that in the fridge, but asparagus, broccoli, and spinach or mixed greens. I use those in, in breakfast and eggs and any way I can to get in some extra greens. I put some of the stuff in the smoothies um, and I love broccoli and asparagus. So those are my three. My three for fruit, even though bananas are high in sugar, it's a fruit. And I love this portion control system because it doesn't count fruit as a carb because they work differently in your body. Fruit has a lot of fiber in it. So if you're taking in fruit with fiber, that processes differently than if you're taking in, let's say, whole grain rice that you know doesn't have a lot of fiber in it. It just processes differently. So I love bananas. So bananas, berries, um, and usually like a frozen berry. I love frozen mango, or we'll do a citrus as like our three staple fruits, or an apple. It's super high in fiber. It keeps you really full. So I have those in the fridge as well. So those are my three. So I make sure that those are prepped and ready for the week and they're prepped in whatever form they need to be, whether it's frozen or whether it's regular, um, and I just keep them in bulk. All right, so the next step to this prep journey is to prep using recipes in a grocery list. And this is so important, you guys, because it makes all this food not so expensive because you know exactly what you're gonna be using it for. So here's my recommendation. I always work from this cookbook. I'll, I'll link it below, but this is the Fix 8 cookbook. It's the cookbook that goes along with this color coordinated container system. And it's just easy for me. Um, it's helpful. And I have things in here that I are just staples for our family. So I know, okay, we're gonna make the Italian wedding soup. And I know that it's two green containers and two red container, or one red container per serving and that's all done and I can block it out the way that I need to. If you're doing macros or if you're um, counting calories in a different way, you would just need to look at this and kind of break it down. And nowadays you can pretty much find a recipe um, on the internet that's got you know all the nutrients in it. Um, so you can kind of do it that way. But this is what's been so easy for me and been able to you know create our success as a family and staying healthy. So I get this Italian wedding soup. I know I need to have my lean turkey to make the meatballs. Um, I know I need to have, what else is in here? Some greens. I know I need to have grated Parmesan, that kind of thing. So once I decide, I usually do three to four dinners that I'm going to cook from a recipe per week. And what I do is I go on to my computer and I, for me, where I live, I find Walmart to be the most cost-effective and they still have great organic options. So I go on Walmart grocery pickup and I basically work from a recipe list and see exactly how much I need of everything, get it all in there like the Saturday or the Friday before, put it all together. And then as I'm going throughout the week, I'll add in my essentials, like my fruits, my veggies that I wanna have on hand, that kind of stuff. But you guys, it makes it so organized and it makes it to where you're not wasting money on what you think you might want that week because you already are planned with recipes and you know they're healthy, you know they're good for you. So that's what I would always say. I picked um, Italian wedding soup. I picked um, Mexican taco meat, um, which is great in here. And it's two vegetables. It's um, per serving two vegetables, one protein. Um, that I love because I can add it to an Ezekiel taco or I can add it to a piece of bread um, or I can add it to just a bowl during the week and make, you know, like a burrito bowl, that kind of stuff. So I love having that on hand. It's a staple. Then I also picked, <clears throat> um, not a dinner, but I picked Chunky Monkey Ice Cream, which I talked about, but it's basically just frozen bananas and peanut butter, a little bit of almond milk, um, and it is so good when you have a craving for something. So 
go to, if you know, if you guys are not following our portion control system or the one that I promote and the business that I partner with as a health coach, that's fine. But find something that works for you. And I love this. It says like gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian. Okay. So like you can follow any kind of plan and stick to this plan. But what I love about this is I'm going to have it already prepped and ready and it's going to feel like a sneaky, dirty treat for my family, but it's really just a fruit and a teaspoon of peanut butter. Um, so I triple this up so that my kids can have it during the week too and they're not eating just crazy ice cream. But this goes a long way in being prepped and ready and knowing that everything that you're gonna be making this week is gonna be on plan. So it's gonna be a lot harder for you to cheat because you've already kind of built that in and you've made yourself healthy cheats. Also something that's really cool about our plan is that you can substitute three times a week wine, um, or kind of like a brownie, like a healthier version of a brownie, popcorn, that kind of thing. So it makes it to where we don't feel like we're so deprived of all the fun things that we need and we can still enjoy celebrations, birthday parties, whatever it might be. So that's tip number one is, or tip number two. Tip number one was make sure to prep all your essentials um, that you're gonna be eating as snacks or throughout the day. And tip number two is to be able to be organized by working from a recipe list and a grocery list. All right, you guys, so tip number three is to make sure that you are trying new seasonings and new flavorings for your food. So if you guys are like most people in the US, even some people in other countries, a lot of people flavor their food with this, dairy. This is not a flavoring. <laughs> this adds a lot of animal fat to your meal and it only use it sparingly when it calls for it in a recipe. Cheese is delicious, milk is delicious, all these things are so good but they're not the best for our bodies if we have other options out there. So the way to flavor your food correctly is use stuff like this. Like for instance, this espresso powder. Sounds crazy, but I'm gonna be using this in a healthy gumbo this week to kind of add that smokiness that I'm not gonna be getting from the flour and oil in a roux. Crazy for me because our family is from Lafayette, Louisiana, which is like gumbo capital of the world, but I'm gonna try and make it a little healthier for my family this year. So. Um, or this week. So that's that's a tip too, right? Flavor with things that aren't gonna add a lot of calories to your food, but also find a way to eat the foods and meals that you love and that are your family staples, but to tweak them a little bit um, and to make them a little bit more healthy. So for this gumbo that I'm gonna be having, I'm gonna be adding some roasty toastiness with this, um, but I'm gonna be taking out all that flour and oil that you really don't need to get the same amount of flavor. All right, so some other ways that we can <clears throat> flavor our food. Curry, curry powder is so potent. It changes the flavor up of so many things. So for instance, I could have my grain here. Oops. Um, I could go ahead and have my quinoa and prep that, maybe do like four or five cups of quinoa. I would prep that out. Um, then I could do my chicken, which I would probably just slow cook or put in the Instant Pot, shred it um, and make it pretty basic, just salt, pepper, that kind of thing. And then I could have my veggies that I sauteed or that I could saute and it would change up the flavor tremendously. I could add all those things together and put in a pico de gallo and make it, you know, feel a little more of a Mexican flavor. I could add an adobo um, or a chipotle in adobo sauce and give it that smoky Mexican flavor. Or I could add something like curry powder and give it that, you know, Eastern flavor. I mean, it's, it changes the flavor so much when you're just working with spices and things that are natural versus trying to just add salt and fat. Um, to something. So things that you can use that are different, you know, thyme. Thyme has such a strong flavor. Curry powder, like I said, the espresso. Light coconut milk makes things so creamy and you're adding a healthy plant fat instead of an animal fat. Um, so that's something to think about as well when you're thinking of flavoring your food. Um, okay, and then another tip is use these things that you have on hand that make prepping easy. So for me, the Instant Pot, I always am gonna have shredded chicken, or for me, I'm gonna be making um, Italian turkey meatballs for my um, uh, Italian wedding soup. Um, and for me, I can just roll those meatballs and instead of you know dirtying another pan, putting them in the oven, I can either put them in the air fryer, which is also one of my very favorite things in the world, and it will be done in 20 minutes or less, or I can put, things in the Instant Pot. I usually take this whole bag of frozen chicken, this is how many ounces, three pounds, and I put it all in here and I just shred it for the week. So I can use it in things like chicken enchiladas, healthy chicken enchiladas, I can use it in burrito bowls, I can use it in a sandwich or a wrap or a chicken salad, and it's just all basic and it's prepped within 20, 30 minutes and it's ready to go.
My next tip is think about what your family eats and how they eat. So for instance, my daughter is one, my son is seven. They have very healthy appetites and so does my husband <laughs> um, because he's a lot bigger than me. He's, you know, six one and he's a bigger guy. Um, so you gotta, gotta think about that when you're thinking about portioning. So a lot of the recipes that I've chosen make like up to 10 servings. And so I'll say like, let's say I chose three dinners and they each make 10 servings. Well, some of that can be, you know, trickled over into somebody's lunch. Um, or, you know, my husband might have two servings and, and I kind of even it out that way. My daughter eats a lot for a one-year-old, but she eats a lot of essentials. She eats a lot of like, you know, just broccoli or asparagus, bananas, berries. So make sure that you're getting more of those than what the recipes call for. If you know your kids are going to be in your family are going to be eating a lot more of them. Like I said before, our family lives on bananas and like no shame in our banana game. Like we're a family of monkeys and we love it. Um, and so I usually get like 20 bananas, um, at the start of the week. Like I said, we're low right now. Um, but you know, if you know that your family's going to eat it, get it. And it's not a waste. It's not a waste of food. Um, when I shop on Walmart, I can see like what's on sale. If you, if you guys go on and do like a pickup site, which is great too, because you might see that organic bananas are 20 cents less than they were, you know, and it makes it almost the same as a regular banana or whatever that might be. Um, so make sure that you're just paying attention to the things that your family gobbles up in handfuls, the healthy things, um, and make sure that you got a lot of that on hand. Also, don't miss out on the fun things. So I love to make energy bites, um, and these are a great option instead of getting like, you know, whole um, like milk chocolate <clears throat> morsels, I'll make chocolate chip cookies with my five ingredient chocolate chip cookie um, recipe, which I'll put that below if you guys wanna see it, let me know, comment, and I'll put it below. Or, um, you know, I'll make my energy bites, protein energy bites, which are just almost like cookie dough, it's so good. Um, and I'll use this instead. So these are Enjoy Life mini chips. They're 100% real semi-sweet chocolate, non-GMO verified, gluten-free, um, vegan, allergy-friendly, they don't have, um, they're just straight from cocoa beans, so they're not made in, in facilities that have wheat, peanuts, tree nuts, dairy, casein, soy, egg, sesame, sulfites, lupin, mustard, fish, shellfish, crustaceans. They're free from all that stuff. So always be looking for stuff like this that are just a cleaner way to get in something that tastes like a really naughty treat. Um, this is a really good thing to have on hand. I also use these to um, kind of sprinkle when I make like a protein cake, protein chocolate mug cake. So good, and it's basically egg whites, scoop of protein, a couple of these, and a scoop of natural peanut butter. Amazing. All right, you guys, so now the kitchen's starting to get a little messy. So I think I'm gonna put it on a time lapse so you can see um, basically how I prep. But for instance, I'm gonna be doing um, some curried chicken over couscous. So I went ahead and I boiled my couscous. This took about five minutes, and I packaged it just like this so that even when I'm not using this just for the recipe, I can pick from the couscous throughout the week. I can use, I could put something else on top of it. I can make, you know, um, like an energy bowl out of it, put different protein, maybe use shrimp or chicken um, or turkey meatballs or whatever that is. So I, I keep them in their own container based on the food and then I'll assemble the meal whenever I'm ready to eat that meal. So here's the couscous and then another tip is, these were the other ingredients I needed for this meal. So it's basically um, two pounds of chicken and then you're supposed to create this rub, stick the chicken in there and make sure that it's all coated. So before I was able to cook that, I went ahead and prepped it, put it aside and I put it next to the other things that I need for that meal. So I need raisins and I need shredded carrots and I need light coconut. So that's all just set aside right here waiting for that to go. <clears throat> I also prepped, I'm gonna be doing um, taco meat because I'm gonna make tacos and taco bowls throughout the week. So I went ahead and I prepped all my veggies. You guys could, you guys saw how I chopped them. I used my chef chopper. Um, and I prepped my veggies and like my seasonings and garlic and stuff for that so that when that skillet gets up and hot, I can just put it all in. My shredded chicken is in the Instant Pot right now. I think it's almost done. So I'm gonna have that done. I'm gonna put that in its own container. So that's really how I prep these things out. I go ahead and keep them in their bulk packaging, whatever it is, whether it's a grain, whether it's a protein. Um, and then when I'm ready to assemble everything, unless it's cooked in sauce, like that chicken is gonna be cooked in a sauce. So that'll all be, um, that curry chicken's all gonna be in there together. But I can choose whether I wanna put it over couscous, quinoa, lettuce, have it as a lettuce wrap one day, 
because it's all in its own container. So that's a way that I kind of mix it up um, throughout the week, even though I have my meals already prepped and planned. that I want to teach you guys about prepping your snacks. So I reserve some of these broccoli florets and I'm just going to use them raw for snacks. Um, I have the, the other ones steaming over there. Um, so what I do is, like I said, I use these little color-coded containers, which makes it so easy. Um, but this little gadget has been such a lifesaver. It basically holds your Ziplocs so that you can just fill them as you go. These are little Ziploc snack bags. And this is from Jokar. I'll tag it below. Um, but you can move it up, move it down, and it'll fit any kind of size Ziploc. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead with my veggies. So I'm gonna start with my raw broccoli. You can probably get one more in there. All right. These are big pieces of broccoli. I probably should have cut them down a little bit. Okay, so that one's done. That's my one snack size of broccoli that I'll probably dip in avocado or guacamole or hummus, some kind of health, healthy fat. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how I do the, whoops, fruit. And it's, most days I don't wanna eat the same fruit all in one serving. So I will just mix it up in these easy little snack bags just to make sure I'm getting different kinds of fruit. So sometimes I'll do this with like apples and oranges or bananas and strawberries, but I'm just actually gonna do my strawberries first because they're heaviest. And remember you guys, I prepped these earlier but I'm gonna do like half the container of strawberries. Should've done it backwards. <laughs> and then half the container of raspberries. And then I know that's one serving. So I can go ahead and put it in. And that's all prepped and ready to go. Now, when I measure these out for the week, and keep in mind, some of these are like for my kids and everything like that. Some of them I'll keep in here in the main fruit containers. But for instance, I've done these bananas because these are gonna be frozen in the freezer. But let's just say these are my snack bananas. I would then take something like this and I would put all my little fruit packs in there for the week and just pop in the fridge. So that way, if anybody wants fruit, I know that it's one serving. My son is somebody that can sit here with a whole box of strawberries and eat the whole box of strawberries, but I wanna make sure that he's getting all the other food groups in as well. So I like to portion them out in these little snack bags, put them in the freezer and everyone, or put them in the freezer or the fridge and everyone knows where to grab them out of. So I do the same thing with my veggie snacks. And if I, sometimes I'll put my hummus or my guacamole or whatever fat I'm gonna use to dip my veggies in underneath and then I'll put all the veggies in one container and everyone knows where they are when they need them. Easy little tip. All right, you guys, so we did it. We are prepped and ready to go for the week. I am so excited. Um, it just takes such a weight off when you know you can just grab something healthy, head out the door or pack yourself a little lunch kit before you go to work in the morning, pack your kids lunch. So let me go over everything that we have made here. So we have a ton of asparagus 
and broccoli. And something I want to point out is when you don't have um, enough room in the container that you're using for something, I always just portion them out in the portion that I should have for that item. So a veggie was one cup and these, this was cooked broccoli, but I went ahead and just portioned out and put it in here. Or this, I know for a fact is two proteins, but it was extra meatballs that I, I needed or, or that it made that did not go in the soup. So I put that there. Then of course we had extra um, chipotles and adobe sauce, so I put that there as well. So let's kind of go through everything. So again, we made our soup, which this is our Italian wedding soup. It is delicious and it does not have the pasta in it, but it does have the egg, cheese, greens, um, meat, turkey meatballs. It's so good. It's got onions, so much flavor. And I wanted to point this out because you can go ahead and portion it as a whole, like in one big pot if you want to. I usually do a little bit of both. So I love these mason jars. They are so handy. In fact, I went ahead and had time to make some Cajun rub and I put it in there. They're so great to have any kind of like pantry item or nuts or seeds or anything that you might have. Just pop them in here and that way you don't have to account for such a big container. Um, but anyway, these are so great. So I portion this out. This is one serving of soup. So I could literally pack this up in my lunch when I get ready to go out for the day, pack myself just a um, plastic spoon, take the lid off, heat it up, and I can even eat it in the car if I really had to. So these are super mobile, they're super easy, and it's a two cup portion. I'll try and link these below. I get like 24 on Amazon and I use them for so many different things. I use them for my smoothies as well and make, making like layered smoothie bowls. So, okay, we've got our soup. We've got our curry chicken, which looked so good. I cannot wait, I'm gonna show you guys. But it's basically curry powder, some seasonings, and um, light coconut milk, shredded carrots, and golden raisins. So we've got that in there. As you can see, I did not portion that out. Um, I'm just gonna leave it as is. We've got one of our essentials, which is our shredded chicken. That you guys saw in the time lapse. I put it in the Instant Pot, put some seasoning on it, forgot about it. I'm gonna use these later for chicken enchiladas. So all I need to do is grab some enchilada sauce, a little bit of cheese, some corn tortillas, and I know exactly how many portions I get doing that. Whoops. <laughs> All right, and then moving on, we've got our taco meat, which is another essential. I'm gonna show you guys here. It is delicious. It really tastes like bad for you taco meat that you would get inside like a beef burrito or something, but it's turkey and it's healthy and it's got a lot of added veggies in there. So again, adding in nutrients and not taking things away. Um, again, these are my leftovers that I had of meatballs that went in the soup was able to make some Cajun rub because I did not prep everything. So that's that's good to point out. There was some stuff that you guys saw here that I didn't prep. I did not do my gumbo because I'm not sure, I ended up having a lot of food and I'm not sure we're gonna get to it because the whole family is not here this week. So I might just freeze those items and at least I've got a lot of the items already prepped so I can just add it all into a soup pot and make the healthy gumbo. Um, so that's there. Um, uh, the couscous that goes underneath this as one of the carbs is here. Um, and it was really easy to make. It takes about five minutes. You just boil water, put the couscous in, turn it off and let it sit. So super easy, that's a pasta. <clears throat> and then I have my grab and go fruit and veggie containers. So I love to portion my veggies and fruit out, keep them in the fridge just like this. So when the kids need something for their lunches or as a snack, we know that we're not just overeating on really fruit. Veggies are okay to overeat on, but we know we're not overeating on fruit. So I've got that there. I also prepped out my um, frozen bananas. So I use those sometimes for smoothies um, and sometimes I use them, I'm going to use them in my Chunky Monkey ice cream, which is basically frozen bananas in a blender with peanut butter and we get to add some dark chocolate chunks and some slivered almonds. It's so delicious. So thanks you guys. I hope that you loved watching this and getting some ideas of what to prep. If you want to find these recipes to prep them, and if you want to follow the same healthy eating that I'm following here, I'd be happy to give you the recipes and give you an idea of what the program looks like. I think as you can see, it's a lifestyle plan. It's not a diet. It's something you can really stick to. And <clears throat> I love that as you portion these things out, you start to not have to measure. You can kind of eyeball what it looks like in one of these bags or what it looks like 
in a mason jar and as you start to make stuff you just fill up the portion you know containers that work for you and you go from there so i'd love to give you guys some more info about any of this i'd love to be your health and wellness coach if that's something that you're looking for in 2019 um, and if i can answer any questions let me know feel free to subscribe click the bell so that you get notifications about more videos like this. Um, my whole channel is just about healthy, easy living for people on the go. Um, it's got a lot of mom stuff, it's got a lot of business stuff, and it's got a lot to do with health and nutrition because that's what fuels everything else in our lives. So I hope that you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment below what you wanna see next. Comment below if you have any questions and make sure to check out the links below to be able to prep all of this stuff. Have a great day, guys, and I hope to see you back on my channel soon. Bye.